It's late at the International Radio Festival and these three have just done a three hour radio show. How'd it go? Very good, very good. It's, this was actually our first time out of the studio. So this is the very, very first time we actually left the Vibe FM studios and, and went somewhere with our show. So pretty exciting, grueling, long, but, but great fun. How did it feel to be out of the studio? Well, um, as Frank said, it's the first time, so it was kind of... The, the place is, is what it is. It's a, it's a historic place in Malta, so you get the vibe of the place. Our vibe was, I think, was good. So I think it was one of those moments you will always remember in radio, for myself, please. Now, let's have a little talk, because as I walked up to the stairs earlier, you were walking on Lego in bare feet. Let's talk about that. I'd rather not. My feet still hurt and I can basically fit in Legos with the, with the marks I have. <laughs> no, but that's, that's, what, uh, that's what's fun about our show. Basically, what you witnessed here today is what actually goes on every day, Monday to Friday during our show. So, so it's, it's all fun. It's all fun and pain sometimes. <laughs> so you, do you do lots of dares in general? Because I noticed that you came with a dartboard with, with different dares the whole way around the edge. How does that work? We, we, we like to call ourselves a traffic threesome. And if that doesn't spell trouble, I don't know what does. So we do try and we do try and turn things up a notch. We know we know how to have fun. It's all it's it's all done just to have a good laugh. But ultimately, we believe that's great entertainment. Our listeners um, are very much part of what we do, also because we interact a lot with them through the social media. So so yeah, I'd say I'd say we're pretty naughty on radio. <laughs> but but I but I guess that's what makes our show quite unique. Of course, and also it makes it more interesting for the listeners. Very, very, very much so, very much so. I think um, we've only been doing this for about seven months now. Um, so, so, so the show in its current format has only been around for seven months. But in the past seven months, um, our, our followers have grown, our, our listenership has grown. And, and I believe it's, it's all, I mean, fine, we have the great music, we have the great content to talk about, but, but it's all about the personalities in the, in the, in the, uh, in the stu studio. So I, I like to think that it's all because pretty much we're naughty you know and that's what people want to listen to what would you say has been the most daring thing then that you've done on your show our most daring thing chocolate the chocolate which one the, cho the spicy chocolate oh yes oh, yeah. they got this really spicy chocolate Painful. which which was apparently the the hottest chocolate in the world and i tried it and <laughs> yeah i mean uh, wasn't I, I don't remember much but I think I, I almost fainted did you actually <laughs> yeah but yeah I mean it was a good laugh for them but which wasn't a great thing to do because he's the one running the show from a technical yeah. point of view so when the guy on the mixer passes out you know you're in trouble you know <laughs> so why do you love radio so much well, basically, radio was just um, a really good way to get in there, you know, and let your stress, you know, forget about the stress and just have fun. And honestly, like every day we go out of there with a smile on our faces, you know, and saying, listen, people were in traffic and we gave them good energy, you know, and positive vibes. So it, it feels good, you know, to put a smile on people's face. Instead of going to the gym, that's what. That's what oh, you can do it at the gym. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Sorry? Or you could listen to it at the gym. Yes, but we're there. We can't go to the gym. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, I fair. Mean, we, we, we've all we've all had our share of TV in the past, but I think there's something about radio that makes it that little bit more intimate with the listener. And I think I think all three of us would easily say, yeah, put us put us on radio any any day because we we absolutely love doing that. And for anybody that's watching that would like to be in your position and they would love to get into radio and love to do what you do, what advice would you give them? Yeah, just go for it. Just, just, just go for it. I think all three of us, um, if you spoke to us a year ago, would, would have never guessed we'd be doing this show together. Just, just go for it. I mean, listen to, listen to. A, I mean, if you want to be on radio, listen to a lot of radio. That's what you have to do. Listen to a lot of radio. Listen to what other people are doing, and and just. I, I know it sounds corny and cheesy, but just follow your dream. For sure. For you. I think it's the same as Frank said. For me, it was always. <laughs> Wants to speak that. as well. Um, radio for me was always something that I I was a bit of a shy person when I was younger. So radio was always like the thing that got me out there. So yeah, if you want to do radio, just find the um, today the opportunities for radio are are as big because of the internet. You know, I mean, you can easily set up your own internet radio nowadays. Back in my day, I had to go like in a small radio station. That's where I started. So yeah, follow your dream. Just if you really, really want it, you really, really do it. Awesome, and for you. Uh, well, for me, I think I, I agree with both of them what they're saying. But um, mostly, if you're if you're that type of person that you're so confident outgoing out there and you do these quirky stuff at home that you think people won't really enjoy hearing about, 
radio is for you because basically just go there and show people how good you are at having fun you know and spreading the positive energy so yeah Awesome. Well, well done for Say. Thank you so much for being part of the International Radio Festival and just keep smashing it.